Okay, this is Bob Schulteis with the University of Missouri Extension in Webster County, and today we're talking about uh, pressure gauge testing for your uh, food canner. There are a lot of people that are interested in growing their own gardens and uh, getting the food off of there and preserving that food for later, use later in the year. And to do that, one, it's really important to put it up properly, and uh, pressure canning is pretty much required for most uh, uh, fruits and vegetables anymore. But uh, what we recommend is people bring their lid with the gauge. It takes a dial, uh, we can test for the dial gauges. We don't charge anything for this test. And what we will do is compare your gauge to our master gauge. And what we do is test this up to six pounds of pressure and see what this gauge is running at. In this particular one, six pounds on our master gauge comes out to five and a half pounds on this canner gauge. Uh, if you're doing green beans, you now will pump this up to 11 pounds and you'll notice that on this gauge, 11, 11 is 11 pounds on this one. So they both register 11. We also test it out to, for people that are canning meats, we will test out to 15, uh, 16 pounds and 16 pounds comes to 16 and a half pounds on this gauge and if you have any old recipe books that list 5, 10 or 15 pounds of pressure uh, in the recipe uh, do not use those anymore. What you want to use is 6, 11, and 16 pounds. Uh, those are the new USDA, newer USDA guidelines. If you have a weighted gauge on your canner instead of a dial gauge like this, uh, what you would um, do instead, the, the weighted gauges do not need to be tested. They don't go out of calibration. But since we're above a thousand feet here in Webster County, uh, what you need to do is, uh, if you're doing green beans, for example, which your recipe might call for 11 pounds of pressure, you will need to run your weighted gauge to 15 pounds in order to assure that you get enough pressure uh, to adequately process the food and uh, eliminate any kind of uh, food poisoning organisms. Uh, what we're trying to do is prevent botulism poisoning and uh, make sure that that food uh, keeps well for when you want to use it later in the year. 